Hello, hello. I am so excited because I'm gonna head out into nature. I am at home, back at my home home, <laughs> family home, and um, it's really close to the Peak District. And oh my god, I love the Peak District, <laughs> it's so nice. And I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna, I've got a towel, I've got a change of clothes, and I'm gonna dunk in some water, some cold water. And it's gonna be incredible, <laughs> I can't wait. Um, this is just the introductory video, and then I'm gonna come back and have a little chat. I'll probably, I'll probably record all my recordings when I'm out in nature, like, hi guys. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> and then I can finish it up with a little chat in here again. So I'm really excited, and welcome to Lucas Sanctuary. We're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> Hello everybody! I am here at my desired location and I'm ready to get out there. I've got to walk for a little bit, go over like a little bit of a bridge, down a little bit of a hill and there will be the pools to dip in and I can't wait. I'm so excited. So that is what I'm going to do. I'll show you the views on the way. I'll show you some stuff, some little scenes and stuff on the way. <laughs> and I hope you love it because I love it. Okay, we're out here. We're out here. We are at um Yeatome Reservoir in um Huddersfield. It's sort of just outside of Home Firth. I think you can see the views here. Um it's such an incredible place. I just love this area. Like I guess it's home, so like it, it feels it feels oh it always feels good to be here. Um there was a, a time in the past five months where coming here felt felt nice but with an edge of sadness but I just don't get that feeling anymore because um, I have come up and out of it and it's just such a beautiful feeling. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot of, a lot of recently, I've been thinking a lot recently about um, about how <laughs> being single, I don't know if this is actually just like being single, maybe it is because I think when I was single before I had this same kind of feeling but um, no fear like i just don't really have any fear <laughs> oh sorry um it, i feel like it comes with being single um <clears throat> also it's come with my lack of care about how i'm being viewed look at this tell me that's not insane like it's insane blows me away every time every time I come here I've been here so many times I've done the same walk and it still is just as incredible oh little bunnies little rabbits tiny little rabbits my lack of fear is unbelievable like I just don't feel scared anymore like I don't I'm not worried about what I say and how I say it I'm not worried about where I go and what I do because I know that whatever I'm doing I'm doing it because I love it and I think that's that's where it comes from. It's like I don't put myself in a position of, um, you know, unenjoyment or like uncomfortability. I um, I feel comfortable everywhere I go because I want to go to all these places. Like it, it's what I have decided to do. Look at how nice this is. Woodland. And then you've got the reservoir in the center. And then you've got the hills in the distance and then as we go around you'll see the water which I'm gonna get into again can I do it but like screw it I can do it screw it I can do it <laughs> yeah I'm doing it I mean it comes with everything that I've been practicing recently like all the mindfulness and stuff but I truly truly believe that being alone is so necessary in life like I'm not saying forever <laughs> I don't I don't want to be alone forever like Obviously, I've experienced having a companion, like my um, lover. <laughs> I've experienced having like a partner in crime who, you know, felt like a soulmate. And I, like, I believe in those things. Those things really touch me. And and yeah, I, I'm really connected to connectedness. So that that feeling of literally looking at someone and feeling that overpowering feeling of like we get each other right like like the vibrations between you and that other person are so high 
you just like cannot comprehend it and because i felt that like i felt that so deeply i know that that's possible but i also have felt it towards myself now as well which i never had before so i'm so so happy by myself right now because i have experienced it with someone else and with myself and when you when you find it with yourself you're like well I don't need to go looking for it in anyone else now. I've got it with myself. When, you know, somebody matches my vibes, then come on in, come on in. <laughs> come and enjoy it with me. I have got so much to give. I have so much love to give. I have so much excitement and fun and intellect. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm interested in intellectual things which I want to share with people. I want somebody to have all the same interests so we can discuss them and read about them and get excited about them, you know? That's what I want. But right now, what I want is to be so happy with myself like I am. Because it's great. It's truly magnificent. And so is this. Oh, I have, I've been roller skating here before. <laughs> it was really fun. This is the, the top part of the reservoir, which is stunning. And then we've got the bottom part, which I'll show you in a second. Really nice. And then you've got another reservoir further down and um, it's just really quite incredible. Another thing I was gonna talk about, oh, I can't believe I forgot about this. In my last two videos, I kept thinking like, mention it. <laughs> but you know what? So for like, literally five months listening to music hurt like like i had to drive around in silence in my car if a song came on the radio i had to switch it off i could not listen to music it was so painful like the heartbreak which just made music awful and now music has never sounded so incredible like music brings me to myself i've listened to music now sounds better than it ever has like i've heard it for the first time oh it's incredible oh look at the wildflower meadow isn't that gorgeous next to the water and the hills and the woods this is all um pine and it does it has a different feel pine there's a lot of pine around here uh, most of the woodlands on this side are all pine and they do just make it feel kind of different, like almost a kind of like spooky, <laughs> eerie. There's lots of ferns and nettles and grasses. <laughs> it's awesome. Yep. <laughs> okay, don't you just love dry stone walls? <laughs> Yorkshire is the place for dry stone walls. Like. It's an actual trade here. I think it probably will be in, the, in other parts of the country. I'm sure like in the Lake District and Derbyshire and stuff like that, they probably have it as well. But I know around here it is an actual trade because all of the walls around Huddersfield are dry stone walls and they're awesome. In fact, I'm going to go on a course, a dry stone wall and course. They do them sometimes. I was going to do one weeks and weeks and weeks ago, but um, it was in the midst of me doing my um, uni course and I just didn't quite get round to doing it but how stunning are they like they just oh they're just beautiful and the moss is growing on them mm -hmm. gorgeous and then this woodland bit here well nice <laughs> so exciting we're not far from the water yeah no fear don't even have fear there's no point in it it'll only hold you back held me back for a long time fear of myself fear of other people fear of letting myself go fear of thinking that what I do is you know not good enough not right well screw everyone else you are living your life your life is how you want it to be and if you just keep on that track then be perfect everything will be perfect like I say, life is perfect for me now. I love life so much. Like, <laughs> I am getting everything that I want, everything that I need. There's one thing that I want right now. 
that I know I'm gonna get. It just hasn't shown up yet. But it's showing up, it's on its way. And if it were here right now, ooh, oh, it would be awesome. But it wouldn't make things better. It would just, it would just align with how great things currently are still. And there are no conditions to my happiness, to my energy. It is simply me being happy and everything that comes into this is exactly what I want because, well, let me tell you this, let me tell you this. If there has been any negative or bad vibes around me recently, I don't know about them because they literally haven't touched or they haven't come in and they don't exist, right? I can't see them because, because I'm not negative, because I'm so positive. It's like I've just encouraged the positivity. It just keeps coming and that's how it is. So, right, here we go. Down, down at the bottom of there is where the water is. <laughs> and we're going to go in. So I will, I'll be back on when we get down. Down. Oh, even just hearing the water. Let's just listen for a second. We're here. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> it's so silent. Oh, and the birds. So here's the water. And I know there's a bit, a little bit further along where we can have a little bit of a dip in. I mean, I could dip in there. Oh, I think that's the spot. I think I should just get in there, shouldn't I? Is that it? Is that it? Should we have a look along here? See what's along here? Because if there's a better spot, I'll go in that. But that one's pretty great, to be fair. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, this is a great place. Look at that tree. Delicious tree. Delicious life. Life's delicious. It's the best way to describe it. Delicious. <laughs> this might be the place. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, oh my God. It's so cold, it's so cold. Right, I'm going in. I'm just going to literally get in. No questions. Right. One, two, three. that wet but now I've made it really wet. <laughs> I've got a towel so it's fine. Okay I'm gonna get changed and I'm gonna go on a little bit of a hike and then I'm gonna go home. <laughs>